Hi, my name is Alex and I'm the lead trigger technician here at Bullet Central. On today's Tech Central episode, we're going to be going through a complete disassembly and cleaning of a Bix and Andy single stage competition trigger. Let's get into today's Tech Central episode. Okay guys, today we're going to be going through this Remington 700 competition trigger that we received from a client. Um, I don't have much information on this particular trigger, it just came with a sticky note that said please repair. So we're going to test this out. As you guys can see, I'm not getting any kind of sear release there. Something in here is definitely jammed up. We're going to start by removing these four cover screws, pretty easy. Now that we have these four screws removed, I suggest putting in some kind of container that you're gonna have at your house. Um, this way you're gonna prevent you from losing any of those parts um, while you're disassembling the entirety of the trigger. Okay, now we're gonna to wanna to flip this bad boy over and you'll have one set screw here, one set screw here. The purpose of those is you take your one and a half millimeter Allen key, push that in, you're just going to want to twist, twist, twist. That starts coming up. Come down here to the bottom. Hit that same thing. Okay. Ooh, that one came off. All right. See, we lost the ball there. Put that back in retention bar here. All right, we have our trigger open. Right here's a cross section. Um, as you can see, this particular trigger is very dirty. There's lots of stuff in here, some grind, some wear, especially up here on the tops here. Um, we can even do this on the bottom. See, we're not getting any kind of movement. This thing's pretty locked up. So what I'm gonna recommend you do is you come over we get your isopropyl alcohol. This is just from CVS, the 91%. I like to pour it into a little bowl here. And then you're just gonna slowly disassemble. First, remove this retainer bar. Nice and easy, comes off, goes in the bowl. Right here, we're gonna take this top sear off. Next, goes in the bowl. Top spring here. This unit doesn't really need to be soaked in alcohol. We'll put that in the parts container. Next, these two balls, take them out. As you can see, the bottom sear came out as well. Into the bowl, into the bowl, into the bowl. Next, we're gonna take out our retainer bar, this piece, and then last but not least, the trigger, which seems to be Pretty jammed in there. Take that down. Now, careful for this spring that just popped out. That does sit in this little dedentation right there. And when you pop that out, sometimes you'll shoot that spring. You may want to do this inside of a plastic bag if you don't have spare parts on hand. This small little guy right here though, that can go in the basket. We're gonna put this in our bowl of alcohol. Um, you don't have to do this. I like to do this. Um, as you guys can tell here, um, this thing is pretty gummed up, messed up. Um, she's a dirty trigger. So I'm going to put this in the bowl today along with that. Um, we'll wait several minutes and let that stuff kind of soak. If you want, grab it, give it a little bit of a... It's like this front piece. You're not going to really need to uh, worry about that too much being dirty. Let's hit it with a Q-tip, especially down in here. I like to run this down across. Really get this thing shined up. Just on this plate alone, you can see how much debris I've pulled off that. And that's just your plate here. 
you know, this has nothing to do with any of the internal, uh, and that's pretty dirty. Next up is this unit here. As you can see there, still pulling off quite a bit of grime off this guy. Another thing you can do is take this, dip it in here, come through, cleans out some of these ports. Got that clean, come down here. Uh, this is an optional. Sometimes you just want to use some keyboard duster or something like that. Really dry that thing out. Okay, so we got our clean trigger base here. Clean here. Um, and then you're just going to want to repeat those steps through the next couple of Really important um, to clean out these sear surfaces at the bottom. Really want to hit in there. Make sure that's super clean. Um, I like to hit these little holes too, um, just to make sure you know we're getting good coverage. But I mean, you can even tell. Pretty dirty on there. Especially down in here. This is really important. You want to make sure that you're getting this out. This is very key. I can tell you right now what's wrong with this bad boy. So as you can see here, we have some pretty significant damage right in here. That's definitely gonna cause an issue. I'm gonna recommend for this trigger that we're probably gonna need a new one of these. This sear surface right here, very important. Get that. This one too. This piece is looking pretty good. Last but not least, we have our balls here. Those on a paper towel. And now that we have all this out here, we're ready to reassemble. All right, guys, after some investigation, we need to replace this ball pocket here. It was a little out of a line, and as you can see, whoever owns this trigger tried to do a little bit of custom fabrication on it, and to be honest with you, that was not the right move there. But let's see if we can get this trigger going again. Huh? 
Pikmin. Make sure you place your spring back. Take this spring here, flip it up. It goes in the second hole. Second hole. Right here. Next, grab our tops here. Sling that on there, just like so. Next, the retainer bar. So that holds, put these balls back in. And as you can see, we got real light trigger pull there. So next, you're gonna to wanna, to, and as you can see guys, our trigger is all done here. Um, nice and clean. Good clean break on that unit. Thanks for tuning in to today's Tech Central video.